When hearing pipeline, you might see a sprawling industrial complex supporting oil refineries and distribution in your mind, the opposite of peaceful nature. But in Richmond, Virginia, pipeline is synonymous with access to nature, right in the middle of the city proper. Pipeline Park may have been like your vision of heavy industry in the era of Richmond's tobacco industry heyday, but today, even as the namesake's pipeline still operates, nature has taken over its meaning. Only a short walk from downtown Richmond, Pipeline Park's primary points of interest are Pipeline Overlook and a catwalk. Pipeline Overlook offers sweeping views from the banks of the James River atop a small concrete tower. You'll be just a little jealous of the sights the tall riverside apartments enjoy. While the overlook does offer a nice view, and there are some hiking trails along the bank, the real gem in this park is the catwalk. The pipeline juts out from the riverbank in a straight shot west, following the river. A metal catwalk rests atop the pipeline, which itself is under a railroad viaduct. The pipeline below your feet on the catwalk transfers both wastewater and sewage for the city. The viaduct above is actively used by the CSX Railroad. This normally peaceful walk can turn into a very different experience if you happen to catch a train running above you. A catwalk runs a couple hundred yards straddling the pipeline before abruptly ending. At this point, the metal pipeline dons a thick concrete shell that makes for a fine walkway even as the handrails of the catwalk end. Another few hundred yards without the comfort of the catwalk, and you'll find the pipeline ends at the bank, continuing its snaking infrastructure underground. A trail along the riverbank offers a chance to continue your walk to the base of Browns Island when the water level is low enough. The trails and pipeline walk offer a surprising chance at observing the river's animal life. There's several small islands visible from the catwalk that are wild, including Bailey's Island, and Devil's Kitchen Island. Kayakers tend to use them as rest points. Great blue herons roost in the area and you'll catch them out hunting if you're lucky. Osprey also frequent the area. There's a good chance you'll spot ducks and geese. You might even happen upon a beaver in the area as the churning river tends to offer them lots of debris to work with. If you're looking to fish and have a license, smallmouth bass, channel catfish, and sunfish are in the area. Rockfish can be found during the spring migration. The area is also known to have some semi-permanent human residents. Be sure to keep an eye out. The rapids that run the river length along the catwalk are very popular with kayakers and rafters. The white water is generally class 3, although there are some class 4 sections depending on conditions. This isn't a safe area for beginners. However, it is a great spot for picnic, sunbathing, and swimming. And of course, it's a prime spot for watching all the rafters and kayakers. There's multiple fairly large sections of sandy beach you can hop down to from the catwalk or access from the trails past the catwalk. Richmond and the James are steeped in history. Only about 100 meters east of the entry to Pipeline's catwalk is the estimated location of a cross that was raised by Captain Christopher Newport and Captain John Smith in May of 1607. The cross was laid only days after the party's landing in Jamestown. In the decades that followed, William Byrd, a prominent trader, operated several acres of plantation along the falls in this area. When the land passed to his heir, the colonial government worked with William Byrd II to incorporate a town from this land. Thus, Richmond was founded in 1705. A reproduction and monument to that cross and landing is along the nearby canal walk. The catwalk and Pipeline Park were open to the public in 2005. Pipeline Park is part of the James River Park System. Pipeline Park is open from dawn to dusk. A small parking lot and a bike rack is at the entry to the park. All are free to access. Accessing the catwalk requires a short climb down a metal ladder from the riverbank. Be aware of the water level and weather. High, fast water can easily engulf the pipeline and connect to trails. There aren't very many secluded spots in a city with a metro population over a million. But Richmond is an old city on an older river. The James River has been used for centuries by modern Americans, colonists, and the original native people to ferry cargo. 
the pipeline of Pipeline Park still ferries cargo, keeping the section of the James pristine. That pipeline also offers a clever way for us to access this beautiful secluded park.